Here in Sochi, the bobsled competition kicks off tomorrow with the return of the Jamaicans. This, of course, is not the same team that took Calgary by storm back in the 88 Olympics. For one thing, they only managed to qualify a two-man sled this time. Still, their arrival here in Sochi created a fair amount of excitement over their legacy and the obstacles they overcame to get here. It was questionable whether the Jamaican bobsled team would qualify for these games. Thanks for having us here. And barely a month ago, it was an yeah. open question whether they could even afford to fly here. It's a mile. It's been a long flight, you know? <laughs> they arrived here hours late. A missed flight connection and missing luggage, including some critical equipment. So, Apt that? metaphors for the perpetually uphill story of this team from a sunny climate that in the 1988 Calgary Olympics delighted the world and later became the basis for a comedy film classic. Gentlemen, this is a bobsled, sort of. Get on up! But it hasn't necessarily all been cool runnings for the real Jamaican team. They failed to qualify for the last two Olympics, and they've struggled to find sponsors. When I caught up with the team in December during qualifications, times were lean. The thing is, we're we one of the most famous team throughout the world, but the most poorest team ever. After clinching a spot in Sochi, the team revealed they didn't have enough cash to afford the trip. The reaction was immediate. Within days, fans and supporters raised more than $100,000 for the Jamaicans. The outpouring was incredible, how much money was raised in a very short amount of time. What do you think was behind that? It's so much behind it. It's people, people want to see Jamaica team out there, you know, and they miss the Jamaican team. Finally, after a 12-year absence, the Jamaican flag was raised above the athlete's village. And while here in Sochi, they're soaking up the smiles and fame that comes from their cool runnings legacy, they don't want their appearance here to be seen as some sort of movie nostalgia tour. At 46 years old, Winston Watts came out of retirement to lead the team. I'm not just come to Sochi because I want to be here, but I'm here to compete as serious contenders. The Jamaicans have climbed a lot of mountains to earn their place back in the Olympics, hoping it's all downhill from here. And there's the Jamaican flag flying in Russia. It is. <laughs> One of the best and prettiest color here. <laughs> Again, the Jamaican bobsled team competes tomorrow here in Sochi. We will be following all the action. That's NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. I'm Lester Holt reporting from the Olympic Games in Sochi. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Today, and we hope to see you right back here tomorrow night. And a reminder, primetime Olympic coverage begins at 8, 7 central. Once again, anchored tonight by our own Meredith Vieira. For all of us here at NBC News, good night.